What is up guys? How are we all doing today? Look at that. Focus is already off. Look at it. Doesn't even know. So as far as today goes, it's going to be a short day. Um, the vlog is going to be kind of short today. I really just wanted to let you guys know what was going on, what's going on with me right now. Currently, I'm still I'm still training. I know you guys don't see a lot of the training videos anymore, which I'm going to actually include some of the training today because I've not included it in so long. I know a lot of my earlier subscribers, that's the reason you guys subscribe. So yeah, I'm going to show some training videos. Training today. So what has been happening as far as training is going? I haven't really let up too much on training. I'm not training as much as I used to either though. So I've kind of switched gears as far as what my training kind of consists of. Basically what I've been doing is I've been training myself for a powerlifting meet that's going to be coming up in May, May 5th actually. So I've hired a trainer, it's actually a friend that's actually doing my programming for me and kind of training me up until peak and all that fun stuff as far as powerlifting is concerned because this is the first meet I've ever been to or ever been a part of so we're actually going to see how all that turns out. Like I said again the tr the meet is in May um, so I started two weeks ago or a week ago um, as far as like it had nothing it doesn't really have to do with my numbers yet. It's got some of my numbers in it, but nothing training off my percentages and all that fun stuff. So it's been nothing huge yet. I'm sure we'll get there. We'll start peaking and I want you guys to kind of come through the, all that with me and see how all that's going and see how all of it is. So I'm going to take my small camera in there today because it's really hard to set this one up and I do not want to get it knocked over because there's been so many people like just nonchalantly just bust in front of my camera and just pay it no mind, which they shouldn't have to. I mean, it is the gym. It's not just my gym, so they shouldn't have to really worry about that. You know, my equipment is sitting on the ground. At least have the common courtesy to step over it or something or tell me to move it out of the way. I would. You know, I don't want to be in anybody's way. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to carry the smaller camera in there and we're going to get some footage of the workouts. The next clip you guys see will be the commentary inside the gym. What is going on guys? Welcome to the voiceover, the workout. So today is not like anything special as far as like what my program is going because I haven't actually started it yet in this video. Uh, so basically what I'm doing here is just doing a few movements, trying to get my, my form corrected a little bit, trying to get everything down before I actually start my AMRAP, which is going to probably be in the next video. So the workouts have been very like short as far as you know what I'm used to but I think overall they're actually going to turn out to be a little bit longer and a little bit harder as I get going I mean that's the idea anyway beside like whenever you're trying to set up uh, a powerlifting meet so the idea behind it is you know work up to what I possibly can for a one rep max then peak but not actually do the one rep max until I actually go into the meet the competition itself which currently, according to my trainer, uh, we actually have um, our numbers set, my numbers set, and I should be able, according to calculations, do a 340 bench for one rep, uh, 450 for one rep on deadlift, and probably around 450 for one rep on squat as well. So my squat and my deadlift have always been pretty much neck and neck. I think I might be able to end up pulling a little bit more on squat on uh, my deadlift, but I think my squat's pretty much gonna stay right about where it's at. But we'll get all that figured out. I'm not really sure exactly what everything's gonna end up being and how it's all gonna be because I've never actually had a trainer walking me through any of this. But I've never actually done a meet either, so it's brand new experience for me. Uh, so as far as bench goes, what we got here, and this is what I've been doing so far and I think is gonna continue through my program, I squat and bench on the same exact day. So I'm able to basically do this twice a week. So I'll be squatting twice a week and benching twice a week. But as far as deadlift goes, I'm only doing that once a week. So that's pretty much how everything's going to be set up. And that's how the program's going to go until we actually start getting into the new stuff and going to the and it's prepping for the meet. But I just kind of wanted to update you guys on what's going on as far as my workout. Enjoy the rest of the video. How are those gummy bears? So good. So good. So good. What's going on, guys? Finally made it back home from the gym. Actually, been back for a little bit. Got dinner done and everything. 
So yeah, we're getting close to the end of the night. I still have some things to fill as far as my calories go. So yeah, basically, Megan actually just asked me this a while ago about her calories a while ago. So basically, she had like 17 carbs, um, I forget how many fats, and like three protein. Nine fats, three protein. So 140 calories-ish, somewhere around there that she had left over. So basically she, what she asked was, does she need to fill those calories? My opinion is you need to get as close to your calories as you have set while you're dieting until you take those calories down. That way you can kind of feel it out, feel how you're gonna feel and all that fun stuff. Plus you don't wanna, you don't wanna like take your calories down see a weight loss one day if you're if you're tracking daily and then the next day see a weight spike and wonder why that is it's because you had less calories the day before maybe if you had less carbs then you're going to hold less water so overall you're going to see your weight maybe drop a few point pounds or something like that is possible so basically if you're dieting and you have a set calorie or macro number be sure to at least try to meet that or come as close as you possibly can until you take those calories down that's just my opinion though all right guys so this, for the next little snack that i'm gonna have is this flip yogurt flip flip yogurt flip focus dude so it is the salted caramel something or other there it is salted caramel so that's what i'm gonna have next so if you guys have not what? Haze, I'm having chocolate haze craze. Chocolate haze craze. Yes. So she's also having a flip. So if you guys haven't had these or tried them, they're awesome. The this is the macros on. Well, this one. They're all different. So that's the macros on them. They're all different, but not by too much. So yeah, that's that's basically my next little snack that I got going on here. So we'll see uh, what I can get in me next. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna have. 70 carb, 53 fat, and 67 protein left. So I see a PB&J in my near future. So if you guys haven't seen, this is basically what it looks like. Greek yogurt on this side, and then this little bit of goodness down here. It's stir on. And then you just like, I'm gonna start to do this one handed. Here we go. And dump it in by my lovely assistant. And there we go, and we stir it in. Amazing. Megan says it looks better after it's stirred. Let me know in the comments below which way you think it looks better. I think it looks good either way. After it's stirred. All right, so next up in this array of meals that I'm having, protein shake, 2% milk, PB and J. Serving a PB, serving a J. But the J I use, is actually pretty neat. So this is it right here. So, yeah, a little bit less calories than your ordinary J. So it works out great. Finish that up. See you in the next meal. This is the concoction I made for my last meal. Basically what we got here is a serving of cheese, serving of pepperonis, serving of I'm not a serving of, well basically a serving of bacon, turkey bacon, and then one egg. If you guess that I'm trying to fill my fats at the end of the night, you'd be correct. So this is just like concoction that I just made up basically just to fill my macros. This is what we had in the refrigerator, that's what I'm filling. I almost did it I believe, I don't have too much left to fill. So that's pretty much going to be the end of the night. What I think I'm going to do with this vlog is wrap it into the next day or maybe into the weekend vlog because that's when we do the most stuff. I just kind of wanted to share tonight with you guys to let you know what's going on. The first, the powerlifting meet, and second, how my lifts are going. Everything seems to be going pretty smoothly. I know the lifting was kind of short, but if you guys want more workout footage, be sure to comment down below. Let me know if you want to see more workout footage. I have no problem showing you guys. It'll be from the smaller camera most likely. It won't be from the bigger camera because I'm still trying to work out whether or not I need to be going in the morning or in the evening. So we're still kind of working in the scheduling out as far as you know family life goes as far as all this goes here at home yeah that's that's pretty much it guys that's what we got going on right now that's how everything's going again the meet is going to be may 5th i start to get signed up and everything for it i'll show you guys my singlet and everything that i got for christmas the wrist wraps i'll be using the belt i'll be using everything i'll be setting up in order to actually go to the go to the meet I don't think I'll be using anything like uh, chalk or baby powder like a lot of people do. Maybe chalk, maybe, but it's hard to say so far. I, I don't no normally use char chalk anyway, so we'll just kind of see how all that goes and play it by ear from there. That's, that's how everything's going, that's how everything's gonna go, that's how meat's coming up, all the information. See you in the next clip, which will most likely be this weekend.